Welcome back. For the past four decades, the city of Woodenville has held an annual summer celebration. 34 years ago, a fun event featuring adorable basset hounds took center stage at the yearly festival, and it's all gone to the dogs since then in the best possible way. To find out more about this year's Celebrate Woodenville Festival, including the popular Basset Bash, please welcome Woodenville Deputy Mayor Elaine Cook. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. So we kind me. of covered the, the block party. Now we're going to go you know, over to yep. the east side and find out about Woodenville. So what's the overview of Celebrate Woodenville? I think Celebrate Woodenville is about bringing the, the greater community together to enjoy what people love most about Woodenville. And it is the wine, it's great food, it's great people, it's a strong chamber, it's businesses that feel part of the community, it's um, small town feel, and the Celebrate Woodenville concerts, which were added much later to cel the Celebrate Woodenville Festival, have become a ginormous attraction <laughs> and draw from people even outside Woodenville. And we have four of them, and they start this week. That is so much fun, and it's, to me, it's such a good opportunity for the human connectivity. We spend so much time on social media or whatever. Yeah. It's, you know, one of those places where you can get together with other people, wander around, have fun. I can hear the Basset Hounds back, backstage. So this has been going on for a long time. Why the Basset Hound? Well, if you haven't met them, Patty and Gary Green moved from Southern California in, I believe, 1979 with their couple of Bassets. And they had moved from an area in Southern California that had celebrated Bassets once a year, had a Basset brigade or a Basset <laughs> festival or a picnic. Basset brunch, something. And they had, Gary and Patty had um, attended the Celebrate Woodenville Parade and thought, this needed something. The town parade needed something, and they went to uh, somebody that was very important and influential in the community, Carol Edwards, and said, how about we add a Basset Hound Brigade to your parade? And she said, yes. Well, who would say no to that? Well, <laughs> so when it started out, were there very many of them? I mean, are there a lot of Basset Hounds in Woodenville? So, the Basset Hounds come from all over the Pacific Northwest. I think they probably come from California and Oregon and uh, all over the place. It has become uh, something that it wasn't in the beginning and it has become a big attraction. And I think Gary and Patty Green have a list of people in uh, this side of the world that have Bassets and invite them and come right. every year. A secret Basset network it that is. is called on for this. And <laughs> the thing that I most enjoy, besides the fact that they're in costume, is that there is a race, and we have some videotape of that, which I think is very important, as you can see. <laughs> Let the hounds loose, and there they go. There must be treats on the other side. I don't know. I just never get tired of these dogs, corgis, any dogs at yeah. all. So it's not um, just the live animals. You've got these, these Basset Hound statues everywhere in the city now, so it's a serious thing. It's a serious thing, and I think people have adopted the idea that the Basset Hound was automatically the mascot of the city. And Absolutely. people who had a little bit of money spent money on these beautiful statues and donated them to the city. And every day people would say, well, where did that come from? Or, or <laughs> why the Basset Hound? And I think that it has just become this curiosity and really sure. just clever part of the culture in Woodenville. Just a so. quirky thing quirky that little, defines yes, Woodenville. Yes. So you mentioned the, the wine, of course, uh, yes. Chateau Saint-Michel, all the other wineries that are in that area. And do we have a chance to go to booths or how do, how do, the, how do the food and wine get accessed? It's my, it's my very so important So as part of, get to the wine? there you go, as part of the uh, Celebrate Woodenville Festival, including the concerts, there are, there is a beer and wine garden. Mm -hmm. And so each week, different wineries and different breweries come and they offer their wine or their beer or their cider. And uh, you probably know there are over 100 wineries in, this, in the little city of Woodenville. I did and not <coughs> know there were that many. Are you serious? Yes. We are at only six square miles and 11,000 people wow. at over 100 wineries. That is fantastic. Yep. And the farmer's market as well? Farmer's mar This is the 25th anniversary of the farmer's market, as well as the 25th anniversary of the city of Woodenville. The city of Woodenville was incorporated in March of 1993. Wow. And the farmer's market started that year. So they're both celebrating 25 years. And the farmer's market is doing very well. It recently moved into a park that we are redeveloping in, in the center of the city uh, called De Young Park. And they're thriving and growing. And yes, and the city appreciates them. And uh, yeah. 
Good job. We like to see cities yep. well run and yep. growing like that and having lots of opportunities for both business and fun. So you might be able to hear a little bit of, of sound from backstage. There are a couple of Bassets yep. here just to kind of introduce you to what they look like when they show up in costume. <laughs> and there's somebody with them that's very important making their debut. So yeah. Bassets, would you come on out? And then Elaine, tell us uh, tell I would us love what we're to looking at here. I would love to introduce you to here. Quigley. <laughs> so this is Quigley. Hello, Quigley. Quigley is our the city's new mascot, and Quig and with Quigley are two of Patty and Gary Green's Basset Hounds, <laughs> Daisy in the brown fur right. and Lily in the white fur. The the bow with the the light up stuff on it is just too good. And the mascot is brand new, right? We're making a debut. This is absolutely a debut. Mascot. This is Quigley's third appearance, but absolutely a debut to the greater community. And the children in the community, the children in the community of Woodenville named Quigley. I was just about to ask, is, is Quigley a, a boy? Quigley? Could be either a girl or a boy. Up to Quigley. Qu Quigley's Quigley, looking yes. at me like, what is up? Can you not tell? Quigley has not decided whether it's a boy or girl, but it is important to the community. And Quigley's going to show up at concerts and family events and absolutely at the Bassett Bash. That's great. How yeah. did the kids vote for Quigley so the, or, or make the name? So the Woodenville Weekly posted um, a picture of Quigley right. and 10 names for the children in the community to choose from. And they, hundreds of children in the community emailed their favorite name and Quigley by far was their favorite. So not even close for number two. Not even close. Great looking <laughs> dogs and Quigley of course is the best. Thank you very much Elaine. Thanks Quigley. Sure. Celebrate Woodenville kicks off Wednesday with weekly concerts in the park. It runs through August 8th with days filled with activities including the awesome Bassett Bash and you can find all the details on our website so you can plan going up. Still ahead a new book takes an inside look at the explosive omega-3 industry and how it could be harming the environment.